My book, This Queer Angel, is a true story for which the phrase, you really could not make this shit up, is wholly apt. It's a warmly intimate, totally honest, humorous account of my experiences as an army nursing officer in Cold War Germany in the 1980s. It details how, having started life in potentially difficult circumstances, by 1986 I'd made it and was living the life of Riley. My future was incredibly rosy until a fateful tangled web led to my being subjected to an investigation by the Special Investigation Branch of the Royal Military Police, the army equivalent of the CID. It unravels a complex chain of events involving sex, lies, betrayal, fear of blackmail, hypocrisy, this led to my facing false allegations of indecent assault. It required no wild or vivid imagination on my part, nor any innate gift for creating intricate plots, because unbelievably this incredible story is true. I wanted to share these experiences, unwelcome though they were, for a number of years. Partly because I could never quickly or easily explain whenever I was asked, what on earth happened? Or, were you caught in flagrante delicto? But also because this is my story to tell. It's taken until now for me to be able to look back and record these events with objectivity. For many years I was very angry and bitter, but rest assured this is most definitely not a misery memoir. My book deserves your support and needs to become a reality because it chronicles iniquitous events in recent history that must never be repeated. The investigation was just the start. It led to my co-founding Rank Outsiders, the leading LGBT campaign and support group battling against the military ban. This Queer Angel describes its inception, existence and history. With the world at such an unprecedented point in history, with leaders initiating retrograde political actions that threaten to reverse great moves towards equality and inclusivity, this book needs to be published. With your support, it will provide a permanent record of a David and Goliath battle fought by a handful of determined campaigners. More than ever, we need to ensure that such hard-won battles are never forgotten.